ChatGPT apologizes like your barber after giving you a bowl cut. I apologize for the confusion. You weren't confused. You were lying. OpenAI just published a paper explaining why their AI just makes things up instead of admitting it doesn't know. Uncle Jerome, what do you call someone who confidently makes up answers? My nutritionist. Jerome, he works at KFC. The paper shows that when you ask about something obscure, the hallucination rate can be 20%. That means that in certain situations, one in five answers is pure fiction with PhD level confidence. Here's why it happens. Remember those multiple choice tests from grade school where leaving an answer blank counts against you? So you bubbled in C for everything and then prayed? That's exactly how ChatGPT is trained. The evaluation systems penalize uncertainty and reward guessing. ChatGPT's brain is a pattern matching engine trained on the entire internet. Chad, what do you post about your gains on the internet? All natural, bro. Just chicken and rice. Chad, your dealer just texted the family group chat. The same internet where everyone's lying with confidence. ChatGPT assembles the most statistically likely response based on billions of text patterns. It's exactly like a political spokesperson. Their job is not to convey facts. Their job is arranging words and pleasing sequences until the press conference ends. That is why it gives detailed directions to restaurants that closed five years ago. With such confidence, you're already arguing with your spouse about where to park. The models don't just want to sound confident. They want you to like the answer. Scientists call this sycophancy. Tyrone, what do you call someone who tells you what you want to hear? Baby, I call that Tuesday. Tyrone, I heard that! It's like being on a first date pretending you love hiking. Oh yeah, I love nature. No, you don't, ChatGPT. You don't have legs. You're right. I apologize for the confusion. The fix seems obvious. Make it say, I don't know. But the entire AI industry is addicted to accuracy scoreboards. Each benchmark measures who guesses best, but not who's most honest. That's like picking a surgeon based on the number of Instagram followers. Dr. Patel, would you trust a 20% error rate? 20%. I made my kids retake their blood type test because it wasn't A positive. So until they fix this mess, remember one thing. ChatGPT is a phenomenal intern, not your lawyer. Don't trust it with your life, but absolutely let it write your passive-aggressive emails. Automatic. Addison.